I suppose because, you know, it's the dream. It's the dream to be able to make these kind of changes overnight with no effort. Like, you know, imagine sitting on your couch with a pair of slender tone pants on that give you, you know, the form that you've always wanted by while you watch Netflix. Like, you know, <laughs> um, you know, people are selling the dream, you know, and uh, and they're playing into people's vulnerabilities as well and, um, you know, promising transformation. It's ethically really un- unresponsible. You know, it plays our vulnerabilities. We all want to feel like we can, you know, transform overnight. And our society, unfortunately, places a lot of emphasis on what your body looks like. And, you know, a lot of emphasis that success is related to how your body looks. And, like, that's one of my biggest passions um, is f- helping people find that joy in their health-related behaviors. Because as soon as you find things that you enjoy, that's when they're going to stick. That's the most sticky factor that you've got in terms of behavior change is like finding those joyful characteristics. And, and so like those minor things, but that we overlook often because so many of us, you know, take this mindset when it comes to our health, it's got to be regime, it's got to be punishment, it's got to be tough. If it isn't hard, you know, well, we're not trying hard enough. You know, that whole mm-hmm. no pain, no gain mantra. And actually, you know, what we know from the research is it's, it's, it's the opposite. It's, you know, self-kindness, self-compassion. That's cool. I know. can actually hear that, that British accent that you're speaking a little bit about now. No, no, I'm joking. No. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> totally not. No, very, very Irish. Yeah. <laughs> um, you have to patty it up a notch or two. Just to... <laughs> uh, we know that like, you eat what you see. You eat what you're, you know, you, you're primed to eat. And like, unfortunately, they've shown now in cities that children as young as three, um, you know, can recognize McDonald's branding but they can't name more than two vegetables. The interesting thing that was quite different was the way that they responded to temptation. So, you know, when they, you know, ate a healthy diet all week and then they had something that was unhealthy, they thought, oh, well, you know, it's just one small blip um, and, you know, I'll get back on the horse. Whereas the other people, you know, they ate a really healthy diet, perhaps were too restrictive, were too punishing. And the second they had, you know, like a Snickers on a Thursday, they were like, it's all ruined. Might as well have pizza for the weekend and then I'll start on Monday. So I, what I, then I became really interested in is, okay, well, when do people give in to temptation and why do they give in to temptation? And um, so we designed this.